Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Genjo. Oh, what, a, what bright lights. Very powerful. Yeah. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, a bit of art. Uh, actually, contemporary art, because uh, whenever I say, talk about art, I'm an artist, and I have to give more information about myself. Oh, OK, you, you, you started to see one of my pieces in the back. Because uh, they used to call us uh, sculptors or painters. However, in my case, I do sculpting, painting, photography, and etc. So many other things. Because uh, this takes us to the title of our subject: the changes, the change in art. So the the our our lives are changing. The world is changing. But also, the art is changing, and it has to change faster than anything else, because I think the most important motive of the art is to surprise you. And we have to act faster than anything else to keep you surprising. So that's a very hard task. And that's what uh, leads art uh, artists into multiple disciplinaries. So the artists are no longer or, uh, sculptors, painters, photographers, but there are new titles emerge such as conceptual artists, contemporary artists, or contextual artists. So they are all to define visual artists like, my, uh, like myself or my generation. Uh, it's a bit hard to define, and I'm not going to dig into much here because I, don't, uh, I know that we don't have much time. So I, I will be talking about uh, practical issues, and I'm going to show you some of my sketches. So I want to share with you the process I work and the way I think. So I'll, I'm going to start with the piece. <coughs> so this piece under myself, um, it's, it's one of my sketches, so my sketches look like this. Um, it used to be a sculpture, but <clears throat> to create this piece, I used Photoshop. So I Photoshopped my own sculpture to make it look different. As you can see the piece, uh, it looks very like uh, Alexander the Great. Great except his four additional eyes, as you can see. He has four additional eyes. The original piece is at Istanbul Archaeological Museum, and you are very lucky. You can even uh, walk to the Archaeological Museum and see the original piece. However, to create a Genjogulan piece, I first add additional two eyes, and this sketch has additional two more eyes. So I, I have to add four more eyes to make this piece new. And this four eyes is uh, to make you surprised. So I hope that when you walk into an art gallery in the near future, and when you see this Alexander the Great piece, uh, I hope that the additional four eyes surprise you and you s your brain starts a different electrical activity, so you start to, to think differently. So it's a, it's a sketch, and I, should, I have to be in my studio today to keep on working on this piece, but I'm going to show you some other pieces. So again, this is a new piece <coughs> I'm working on, sorry. Uh, as you can see, uh, it, I have to use term, it has a very strong, strong body, but rather a smaller head and a beautiful, head, beautiful face, but a very powerful body. It is sitting down, and this is my studio in Izmir. Uh, so whenever uh, you see the sculpture, so it, the first thing you see, you don't... So it looks like a sculpture, so I'm not like modern sculptors. So they call us post-postmodern 
artist, so it, it doesn't look like modern at all, so it looks classical, but you need to spend some more time to understand that, hey, there is some, something wrong with this. So what's the problem with this sculpture? So this is a closer look. In here you can more clearly see that she has a really powerful arm, so it's more powerful than mine. So that's, not, that's why I'm wearing a shirt with long sleeves. So if I had these arms, you know, I would come here with a, a T-shirt and do something like this and, uh, anyway. And she has, sorry, not she, it has those six packs. And then, again, there's a problem with the head because this is the body of the Zeus and the head belongs to Artemis. So to create this sculpture, what I did is to cut the head of the Zeus and put it on Artem, uh, sorry, the reverse, to cut the head of the Artemis and put it on Zeus. Hello. Okay, I can use this. Yeah, I can talk here. Yes. Yes, to create this piece, uh, I cut the head of the Artemis and put it on the Zeus. So when I explain it like this, it, it seems very simple and easy to you, right? And it's not photoshopped like the image I showed you first. So it looks very simple and easy, but no one else had created such a piece in 2,000 years, right? 2,000 years. These sculptures waited to be beheaded and changed their heads, and no one did this, right? Very interesting. Because, yeah, I think it's very funny, exactly. And again, this is a blurry picture, but again here, the Zeus head is on Artemis. So the, the Zeus with a big beard, an old guy with big beard and powerful Zeus, right? And sh he has tits. <laughs> okay, now the microphone is work. Maybe it's the Zeus, right? He's the powerful powerful God, he didn't like what, what I did to him. Again, this is a closer and a better picture. They didn't do it because today our society keeps on functioning, functioning like this. So if you have a big beard, right, you got more respect from the society and if you are, have a big beard and if you are older, you get more respect. And if you don't have a beard like me, and if you wear sports shoes, they, don't, they are not cold. So you don't get the respect the other way. So I'm teaching in, again, two universities, but no one treats me like a big professor, right? Because I don't have a beard, I don't have a big belly, and I prefer to wear sports shoes. Anyway, this is my own, own decision. I am happy about this. So I keep on making these kind of sculptures to think about these hierarchies in society. At the same time, same thing applies to the women's issue. For example, um, again, if you are a young lady, you have to be famous with your beauty and not with your intellect. So so no one has made such sculptures in 2,000 years because our society keeps on working that way since 2,000 years. So if you open up Habertürk uh, magazine, to see women, you have to look at the magazine issue. If you want to see beautiful ladies, you have to go to magazine section. Then you will see la beautiful young ladies with tits, and if you want to see old one be with beards, or it's changing, it's the AKP now, so it's the mustache period. 
So if you want to see man with mustache, you need to go to front page. And if you want to see man with strong arms, you need to go to the sports section. And if you mix them, you are in trouble. Again, this is another sketch. Uh, this is the dark water, water hat, and the body is Asclepius. And again, this is a sketch, so this is not going to be a sculpture. This is my, these are my testing photos. So the, the, the head and the body, they are not going to go together. But I'm going to still use the Darth Vader head, but on Marcus Aurelius. I don't know how familiar you are with, uh, mit, uh, it's not mythology, it's uh, Roman history. And again, this, this case, uh, this is Alexander Great. The body belongs to Alexander Great. And in this piece, the face is mine. <laughs> so if I, if I stand like this, maybe. So I use ca casting to create these sculptures. So it's my face on Alexander Great. So this will be a bigger sculpture, like two meters. It's, he is going to be taller than me. I am saying he because he is going to be a different piece. Uh, whenever I say different, I mean really different because we have to be really different because uh, I, I feel the responsibility of an architect, uh, sorry, as an artist, as a sculptor in quotations, I feel the responsibility because I have many sculptors, people had been sculpting for thousands of years, and I, I feel responsible for the sculptors that come before me, and I feel responsible for the ones that are coming next. So that's why this series is called Future Archaeology, because I feel that uh, after, uh, okay, they say the timing, okay. I feel that when we die, people are coming in 3,000 years, they are going to find these sculptures, and they are coming, commenting on Turkish sculpting. I need to show one more, last more. And that piece is going to have a robotic arm, so whenever I say different, that piece hopefully is going to have a real working robotic arm with artificial intelligence. The right arm, it's going to work. Oops, sorry. Yes, this is the sketch. The last image, yes, yes, it's here. So this is the last sketch I'm going to show you. So this image is from a real robotic arm. So I'm working with Boaz University Computer Engineering Department with computer engineers and coders. So this is going to be a real working arm and it's going to be attached on the small sculpture you had seen before. And the, sculpt, the arm is going to greet you whenever you come across the sculpture. Thank you very much for listening. So if there are any engineers in the audience, we can meet after the talk. Thank you.